where women of like passion come together to intercede. We're intercessors lifting up individuals, the church of God, and the nations for transformation. Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for awesome blessings that you daily loaded us with. We thank you for what you're going to do in our midst this morning. And in this attitude, we just want to continue to bless God. Let us thank God. Let us make a joyful noise unto our God. All ye people, make a joyful noise unto the God of all, all gods, the King of all kings, the glorious God. Sing forth his honor. Sing forth his, his praise. Glorify him. Say unto God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. How great is your power, O oh God. Father, you show yourself strong and you show yourself mighty on our behalf. Oh, we worship you this morning. Lord, we sing unto you. Come and see what the Lord has done. The Lord is gracious in all he's doing. The Lord is wonderful. The Lord is awesome. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because you are the same God that made a way where there seems not to be a way. You are the same God that turned the sea into a dry land for your people to walk through. You are the same God that turned the captivity of the Israelites and they were like they that dream. Oh Lord, we give you praise this morning. We give you honor, adoration for your awesome power. Daddy, we give you praise. We exalt you because there is none like on today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, all ye people. Make a joyful noise unto your king. Daddy, we give you glory this morning. Psalm 7, 17 says, I will give thanks unto the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing praises unto the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah. We bless God. He is the Yahweh. He is our faithful God. He is our awesome God. He is the Holy One. He is the Righteous One. He is Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh, our God, our provider, God that never fails, God that never fails. He never fails, nor falter. Daddy, we give you praise. You are our glory. You are the lifter up of our head. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you. Daddy, we give you praise. You reign and rule in the affairs of men. Daddy, we honor you. We honor you. Faithful, faithful, faithful are you, oh Lord. Thank you for being faithful unto us. Let us begin to thank God for his faithfulness. Let us begin to thank God for who he has made us in Christ Jesus. Let us begin to thank God because First John 3, 1 says, Behold, the love the Father has bestowed on us that we could be called the sons of God. Oh, Daddy, we worship you this morning. We worship you this morning. What are we that you are mindful of us? Daddy, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. John 1, 1, 1, 12 says, But as many that has received him, he has given power to become the children of God. And as many that believes on his name. Oh, what an awesome privilege. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. We're here to worship you this morning. We're here to sing your praises. You are the lifter up of our head. You are our shield, our glory. You will never leave nor forsake us. Let us begin to thank God for the gift of life. Oh, Daddy, we bless you this morning. We bless you this morning. We give you thanks. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We, we worship you with, with, with all our hearts. We pour out our hearts before you this morning, saying you are wonderful. You are awesome. Wonderful are the deeds of your works. Father, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. You are gracious. You are awesome. Daddy, we thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you because we woke up this morning not because of what we know to do, 
not because we walk ourselves up, but because of your goodness, because of your mercy. Daddy, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Let us begin to thank God for the Holy Spirit that inside that reside on the inside of us. Let us begin to thank God because as we thank God for the Holy Spirit, we are welcoming the Holy Spirit into this meeting this morning. Oh, Father, thank you for the abundance of life that comes with your spirit on the inside of us. Thank you for the assurance that comes because we know we are not alone. Oh, Lord, we worship you. We worship you because the same spirit, according to Romans 8, 11, that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of us. And he that raised Christ will quicken our mortal bodies. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. By the spirit of the Lord that dwells on the inside of us. Daddy, we want to worship you. Daddy, you deserve all our glory. You deserve all our praise. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. We give it all on to you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. I want to encourage every one of us to be alert this morning because the law is going to drop some things in our mind as we go through this the the, the 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 you know the message of today something that will bring his men to our lives so we're we're coming against the spirit of slumbering the spirit of uh, you know dozing away while we're praying in the name of jesus begin to cancel begins to come against every power of slumbering in the name of jesus in the name of jesus matthew 11 12 says from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violence will take it by force. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just want to thank you this morning. We want to thank you for you equipping us, oh God, to be able to walk in the kingdom of your goodness, even while we're here on earth. Oh, Daddy, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank God. Thank God, because it will cause revival in our midst, in the church of God, and Jesus will truly be magnified in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you for that revival that you're bringing to our lives, that you're bringing to the church of God. We want to thank you. Be thou magnified, O Lord. Be thou magnified, O Lord. Be thou magnified. Daddy, we give you praise. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. Oh Lord, you are perfect in all your ways. Daddy, we give you praise. We give you praise. Psalm 19, 7 says, the law of the Lord is perfect. Reviving the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Hallelujah. Daddy, we bless you, Lord, for the wisdom you're going to give us this morning, for the simplicity that you're going to bring to our life this morning. Daddy, we give you praise. Let us begin to thank God for insight into his plan and purpose for our lives, for the church of God, for the nation of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And as we are praying that prayer, I want us to lift the nation of America and Nigeria as the point of contact to every other nation there is so much going into the, going on in the world commotion destruction killing and you know it, it's just it's just overwhelming let us begin to pray and speak life to these nations to this nation the life of god the abundance of god in the name of jesus Daddy, we, we speak life. We speak life because we know, according to Jeremiah 29, 11, the plan and the purpose you have for us, Father, it, it, it's for us to have hope and to have a good future. Father, we are speaking to the nation of America, to the nation of Nigeria, in the name of Jesus, that you will take perfect control and we're using those nation oh god to reach out to all nations in the name of jesus we pray that your will be done let your will be done let your will be done let the spirit of the lord in the name of jesus begin to take over the atmosphere of wickedness the atmosphere of killing of destruction let the life of god breathe 
over this nation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Roman 8 2 says, The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. The law of, the, of life, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. Let us begin to declare life, life unto nations. Life unto the church of God. Life unto individuals in the name of Jesus. We want to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We declare this morning we will see the goodness and the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for all you are doing, oh God, in the nations. All you are doing in your church. All you are doing in our individual lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you. We honor you. And we thank you for what you are doing and what you are yet to do and what you have done for us, O God. Be thou magnified in our lives, O God. Let your glory be seen in our day-to-day -day activity, O God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Today's topic is birthing prayers. And for this meeting, I have a word. God is giving us simplicity. His quick understanding, and he will be lifting up everybody. I'm going to go over that again, because as much as I try to, you know, make my, uh, prepare my message, I, you know, I'm telling you, I wrote, I rewrote this message like three, four times. And it's just because the heart of God is what he wants us to discuss. And what God is giving us this morning is simplicity, is quick understanding, and lifting of every burden. So let us go um, as uh, uh, you know, and look at what what God is going to give us this morning. Batting prayers. We pray because prayer changes things. Any failure is a prayer failure. So I have five steps to a successful batting prayers, which will give us. 100% success rate if we go by these five simple steps. It looks so simple, but it is the word of God. And the word of God is so simple that it confound, com, confound the wise. So we're going to be looking at Mark eleven twenty four. He says, you can pray for anything. If you believe, you will receive. Three words. You can pray for anything. If you believe, you will receive and it will be yours. So what this verse is telling us is it is crucial to believe at the point of prayer to have 100% success rate. We have to believe at the point of offering that prayer to receive. Like a pre like like pregnancy. How do you because you know at the point of prayer is when you when you receive at the point where you pray is when you have received. But of course, your answer may not be because God is all why you know He's full of wisdom. His ways are not our ways. What you sometimes He answers you the same way you want to see it. Sometimes in a different way but it will still take you to that destination. And sometimes you can say, you know, I'm working on it. But you receive your answer at the time of prayer. It might not have manifested yet. So like pregnancy, how do you nurture that fruit during that gestation period till you see your joy being fulfilled? So here is the simplicity. Here is the simplicity. 
believe is basic to all type of prayer. So that's one. One, you have to believe. And there are different types of prayer. There are prayers of thanksgiving, prayer of supplication, intercession, consecration, spiritual warfare, and so on. But believe is um, a standard across but no matter what type of prayer you are into. Believe is the truth your heart is able to con 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 conceive or the truth that your heart is persuaded about. The more time you spend exploring the truth, the more time your mind become convinced of that truth. And the stronger your faith or your belief becomes. Romans 12, 2 says, do not be conformed to this word, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and you will be able to design the perfect will of God. A lot of people are lost. Like, okay, what is it? What is the will of God? The Bible says, when you stay in that place of renewing your mind, you will know. Because that is when your heart, your spirit, begins to communicate with the spirit of God and God will download. And how can you believe? Step two, the, the, for, your, for you to have that strong belief, it has to be based on the word of God. Study to show yourself approved. Study the word to renew your mind, to transform your lifestyle. For the word of God is living and active, full of power. Sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating as far as the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. And it is the designer of the intent of heart. The word of God would design the state of your heart, which leads to what you believe. That is in Hebrew 4.12. Declaring the word of God intentionally when you are praying or intentionally praying the word of God is the most effective way to pray. So we have belief, we have praying the word. And then when you are praying the word, you are confessing and calling forth and that will bring possession. Step three, pray in the spirit. We pray to the father in the name of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. James 4.3 says, you ask and you receive not because you ask amen. But because God knows about our weaknesses, he has not left us helpless. Not only has he given us his word, but he has also given us his spirit. Romans 8.26. He has given us the spirit to help with our infirmities. For we know not how to pray, but the spirit of the Lord on the inside of us. It, it, it's the bull's eye all the time. When you pray in the spirit, you are on point. You will not pray amen. Step three. Step four. You believe, you're praying the word, you're praying in the spirit, stand in faith. Faith is the place where you build yourself to the point of you having confidence, assurance, and boldness in the word of the Lord. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things you have not seen. If you are in faith, can we go on mute, please? Can we go on mute? If you are in faith, your actions speak. Your faith is not is not one day in or one day out. If your faith is one day in and one day out, 
uh, that is wavering, that is being unstable, and that can destroy that gestation period or, or lengthen the gestation period. Whenever you see these fruits like worry, fear, doubt, anxiety, these are the signs of unbelief. These are the enmity of faith. So you need to quickly retrace your step and go back to the world so that you can refuel. Because you have to stand in faith by looking at the word daily. And finally, step five, thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Galatians 5, 6b says, faith expresses itself through love and thanksgiving. Declare the faithfulness of God. That's that you, you can remember how faithful God has been to you over the years. Like David, David said, the God that delivered me from lion and bear will surely deliver me, will, will surely deliver me from the hand of this uncircumcised Philistine. Read your testimony to God. Read it back. Remember it. You can write it down. So that at least one day you just raise the memorial to God and begin to tell him those testimony and that will build your faith that will build your belief your belief is the foundation what do you believe do you believe the report of men do you believe the word or the whispering of the enemy or do you believe the unfailing word of god you when you are when you are thanking god is also time to sow seed so the seed of thanksgiving, so the seed of time, worshiping God, so the seed of monetary seed, so the seed of service, help someone, pray for someone. Don't say, oh, because I'm waiting here and then every other door I'm going to show. No, pray for someone, help someone, be a helper, reach out. Job 4, 10, 10 says, the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. And the Lord gave Job twice as much. Twice as much. The, 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 the uh, confidence that we have, according to 2 Peter 1 3, is we have everything, the divine power, everything that pertains to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of God. Through the knowledge of God, because the Spirit of the Lord is on the inside of us. Is on the inside of us. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Because on the inside of you, what God is looking for is that simplicity. Is that, it, is, it is not complicated. He gave us the hundred um, percent steps to get a, a, a hundred percent success rate when you follow these steps. Let us begin to pray. According to First Corinthians two four, let us declare that you know our declaration is not according to the enticing word of men wisdom but in the demonstration of the Spirit of God and in power. In the demonstration of the Spirit of God and in power. Are you pregnant this morning, physically? Or are you pregnant with your dreams? It is time to believe and receive. And remember, you are nurturing. You are nurturing until your joy is full. Let us pray. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Holy Spirit, we thank you this morning, oh Lord. We thank you this morning for as many that are traveling in the name of Jesus. 
physically, spiritually, bringing forth. We thank you for the word of God that we're using this morning that is telling us, oh God, according to, to your word, that when we pray and we believe, we will receive. We will pray, we receive at the point at which we pray. Oh Lord, thank you this morning because we trust you, we believe your word in the name of Jesus. We speak back your words to you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As we speak this word back to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, it is of power not of wisdom of men, but of power of the spirit of the most high God. We bring forth this morning in the name of Jesus. We receive in the name of Jesus as we travel, as Zion travel, she brings forth in the name of Jesus. We are in the place of prayer this morning, looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And in the name of Jesus, we decree we are bringing forth our, our pregnancy will not be aborted. Our pregnancy will not be aborted in the name of Jesus. The seed of God will come to fulfillment in our lives. Let us begin to declare that we are always blessed. Whatever delay in our destiny is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Your mouth is a fountain of life. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. Begin to declare the kingdom of God suffers violence, but you have to declare in the place of faith and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. But I thank you because there is no delay, there is no denier when it comes to our destiny, when it comes to your plan and purpose for our lives in the name of Jesus. Our mouth is a fountain of life and we decree this morning and it shall be so because the fire of the Almighty, the Holy Spirit of God is making our world, is turning it into life, is going forth to begin to create in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we release it, oh God, as many that are traveling, as many that are pregnant, in the name of Jesus. Father, they bring forth, in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. We will not settle under the weight of survival. A lot of people have lost hope, even though they are Christians. But God has given us the platform. He has given us the formula. In the name of Jesus, I speak revival. In the name of Jesus, I speak revival to every weight of just surviving. In the name of Jesus, you will not just be under the weight of survival, but you are revived. You are revived. You have the rest. The Lord is restoring unto you everything the enemy has stolen. Father, thank you because you restore to me. You are restoring to me everything the enemy has stolen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because I walk on the promises of God that says he knows everything that I mean. In the name of Jesus. When I call on him, he answered. In the name of Jesus, I walk. In the, in, the, in the understanding of your word. And I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the abundance of heaven. I receive the abundance of heaven. Let us begin to enforce our dominion. Declare you are blessed. You are blessed beyond poverty. You are blessed beyond diseases, sickness, and death. According to Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the thought that I have towards you. is the thought of peace. The thought of good not of evil, that you will have an expected end. Jehovah says you will have an expected end. Let us begin to declare in the name of Jesus. We declare our dominion over any circumstance. In the name of Jesus, we receive the dominion of the Lord. We decree we are blessed beyond poverty, beyond diseases, beyond sicknesses. We will not die. We will live to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living, but because there is an expectation of the Lord on, upon our lives, which is for us to get to an expected end. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you for 100% success rate in our prayer life. We will not just pray just for the fun of it. We will not just pray so that people can say, oh, she's praying. We will not be a disgrace unto you, Lord, because you will show forth and show forth mightily on our behalf. We will 
I mean, we are named by your name, oh Lord. It is time to show forth your glory in the name of Jesus. We take authority over every strong man that is contending with our blessing. We take authority over every stagnancy, retrogression in the name of Jesus. And we begin to declare abundance of life in the name of Jesus. We know we wrestle not against principles against flesh and blood but principalities and power but the good news is we have the authority we have the authority no matter the gang up no matter the situation no matter the circumstances the lord has given you the authority but and we declare that authority in the name of jesus we take over we take over every strong man in the name of Jesus. We destroy your hold. We destroy your plan. We destroy your path in the name of Jesus. Concerning our lives, so God, we release the abundance of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spiritual consistency is what the cost. A successful prayer life is is experience during is experience in your daily routine what i meant is your daily routine determines your success rate spiritual consistency Ooh, lord help us lamentation 3 22 23 says it is of the Lord that showeth mercy, and that's why we're not consumed. It's compassion fails not, and they are new every morning. His blessings are new every morning, and great is his faithfulness. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be added unto you because your father knows what you're looking for. Um, I know our time is fast spent, um, but let me see how far I can go. I'm going to really run. When, uh, when you intentionally commit the first fruit of your day to God, the remaining part of that day is blessed. So what do I mean by that? You have to separate a time and a meeting place with God on a daily basis. This is not a religious exercise, don't get me wrong. So you can make it interesting. You can mix match, read your Bible, um, listen to faith messages, um, you know, um, review your dreams and, and, and write down any aspiration God is giving you. Or you can just listen to worship and begin to thank God. Or you can just blast you know, begin to blast out in tongue. But the, the, the good news or the main thing here is you have decided to wake up early and set some time aside for God every day. It is very important. The important thing is you are giving God out of your 24 hours, you're giving God the best of it. You want to decide whether you want more victory by spending some time with God or you want that extra hour of sleep or extra hour in front of the TV or extra hour to hang up with, I mean, hang out with your friend or extra hours for you to just, you know, do things. Sometimes Christians are involved in things, not necessarily bad, but things that take away your time which are not fruitful, productive. So we have to be consistent and disciplined for us to draw from that daily blessing. The Bible says it daily blesses, you know, the, every day is loaded with blessings. We need to spend time with him. Prayer life of success is something you attract by the person you become. In other words, if you want more of God, you have to give him more. God will change your circumstances, but he will change you first. 
So we want our circumstances to change. We want a better marriage. We want a better career, better salary, better body by exercising, better everything, better everything. But you need to spend time. If you give God, he said, give, seek first the kingdom of God. Your father knows what you are missing. He will give it unto you. He will give it unto you. Personal testimony. When I started spending time with God daily, and I'm not there yet, I'm still getting there. I begin to understand the love of the Father more, the desire for Him more. My mind was so sharp. My spirit man became sharper. I could hear. I could, I could pick things in the spirit. And it is very simple. It is by practicing. Sometimes you can just sit there and say, Holy Spirit, I'm here. And you worship and just listen, listen, so that you can begin to know, how does he talk to me? How do God talk to me? Or you can decide, I want to read, you know, I just want to read um, a chapter today and listen to faith. You just, you know, spend time, do what God will have you do. Have your dream book beside you because God will be dropping some nuggets. As you spend time in his presence, he will be dropping in. You want to write those things down. There are names that God has given me while I was praying and I looked at my, you know, my, my relationships. I didn't know those people. I'm like, what name is this? You know, I don't know those people, but do you know down the line, like two months later, those people came in my life and they make tremendous changes. You know, like... God will tell you some things. You may not understand it, but the moment you are consistent and you spend time with him, the more you begin to understand how he speaks to you. The secret things for your future are hidden in your daily routine. Each 24 hours is a period, is a gift for today. Don't waste it. Every 24 hours is a gift. Don't waste it. Your spiritual and physical dream can be accomplished by giving the God the best of your day and the rest will be blessed according to Matthew 6, 33. Let us pray. Let us begin to thank God for the revelation of his word. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. The unfolding word of God gives us light. And the simplicity of God's word makes the changes. It makes the difference. Let us begin to pray that we will sit with this word. We will understand the word of God. There will be revelation. The Lord will direct our path. The journey of 40 days will not take us 40 years because we will begin to hear from the Lord. Lead us to our destination. Lord, lead us to our destination. Reroute us, oh God. A lot of people are going away from the path God has given them. Bring us back, oh God. Retrace our step, oh God. Redirect our steps, oh God. Have mercy on us, oh God. Your word is a lamp unto our feet, oh God. Thank you for the revelation of your word. Thank you for what you are doing in our life. I just believe that God is redirecting a lot of us. He's bringing us back. He's saying, this is my purpose. This is my way. Walk in it. Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray for strength and consistency. Let us ask, because he, he says when you knock, the door will be open. Seek and you will find. Let us begin to ask, God, we need your strength. God, we need your strength. Help us to be consistent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is not a man to lie. Neither the son of man to repent. As he said it, he will do it. Has he spoken it? 
he will make it good. Oh Lord, help us this morning. We ask for strength. We ask for your direction. We ask that you will uphold us, oh God, this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you for consistency in our lives, oh God. Thank you because we will not waste our day. We will not waste our time. We will not waste the blessings of the Lord upon our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us begin to declare from today our motive and action will single us out for blessings because we know him in the name of Jesus. Let our motive, let our action, let everything about us, oh God, lead us in the path of righteousness, in the path of blessing. Every medri- mediocrity we destroy in the name of Jesus. We walk in the spiritual reality of the Most High God in the name of Jesus. We call forth our blessings, oh God. We overtake in the name of Jesus. We call forth your desire, your purpose for our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to enforce our sonship right. Let us pray that the light of God will penetrate every foundation of our lives. We are now in the kingdom of God. We are now in the kingdom of God. Let us begin to pray that that sonship, we we enforce that right. In the name of Jesus, we enforce that right of sonship concerning us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because the spirit of the Lord, which is the candle of the light of uh, the candle of God is on the inside of us. He will lead and direct us, oh God. He will lead and direct us, oh God. Father, we lose the forces of heaven, the angels of God to go before us as they excel in power to align our way with favor. Open doors, opportunity, goodness of the Lord, the abundance of heaven. Let the angels of the Lord go before us and perfect all that concerns us, O God. Daddy, we give you praise. We receive all this answer with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. I will hand over for persecuted church. Thank you. God bless you, Sister City, for that powerful ministration. The, 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 the power of the future lies in your daily routine. Thank you for that. God bless you. We'll move very quickly um, on to the um, prayer for the persecuted church in Ethiopia. Because um, we don't have a lot of time, I will go over the background of the country in just a minute or so, and then we'll move on to the prayers. And so as we know, Ethiopia is a country of, of over 100 million people, and about 64 million of those people are Christians. If you remember, Ethiopia was mentioned in the Bible, one of the oldest churches even in sub-Saharan Africa. However, there's Islamic extremism being faced in different parts of the country. Um, and the government puts restrictions on religious activities. Even between Christians, there have been um, discrimination. Of course, Christians are a minority in those rural areas. And, and because of that rejection and ostracizing, they have trouble finding schools. Um, they're, they're you know, relocated and relegated to hostile areas. And there's a lot of division and persecution um, just generally in the communities. Um, so let us move into the prayers for this nation. Um, um, as one of the nations where we were always commanded to pray for nations. It says in the word, continue to pray for nations. So let us thank God. We, we thank God for the lives and the faith of Christians in Ethiopia. We pray for the gospel to flourish in Ethiopia and for children in Ethiopia to grow in grace and knowledge of Christ despite unfavorable circumstances. The word of the Lord says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18 that we should give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for, for you. Psalm 92.13 also says they are planning planted in the house of the Lord, they flourish in the courts of the Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters in, in, in the nation of Ethiopia, that they will flourish as, as they are there, not by accidents or by the purpose and the will of God, they will indeed flourish in the name of Jesus. We pray for their children, we pray for the churches, we pray for all, our, all the Christians over there, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. We continue to cover them, that the blood of Jesus will watch over them, they will flourish even as their brothers and sisters in other nations flourish, so indeed they will also flourish in the name of Jesus. 
We also pray for courage for Christians affected by government restrictions and oppressive laws. We pray that they remain in the faith in the name of Jesus. They will not lose hope. They will not lose heart. Second Corinthians 4, 9 says, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, not perplexed. We are not driven to despair. We are not persecuted. We are not forsaken. We are not struck down. We are not destroyed. For this, we pray that they will stand in faith, in courage, in strength, in tenacity in the name of Jesus. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We pray for strength, that every persecution that they face left, right, and center, they will remember the blood of Jesus. And the ultimate persecution, which was that Jesus was crucified on the cross for us. With this, we pray for hope for them in the name of Jesus. We cover them with hope, with faith, with courage in the mighty name of Jesus. We also pray for unity in the church because we remember that we said that there's also division among Christians within the church. And this is happening all over the world. But today we focus on in the nation of Ethiopia and we cover the church with the blood of Jesus. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 133, Behold, how good and pleasant is it for brothers to dwell together in unity. There's a reason why the word of the Lord says that. Let's call forth the Christians within the church, the nation of Ethiopia together in the name of Jesus. There's so much unity can do. There's so much we can achieve when we are working together in unity. So we cover those churches. We cover the nation of Ethiopia. We cover the church in Ethiopia and our brothers and sisters in all denominations of the Christian faith in unity. May they walk in unity. They may, may they thrive in unity. May they, may they seek unity among themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cover our brothers and sisters in the nation of Ethiopia. We lift them up to you, Lord Jesus, that we pray in the name of Jesus that you cover them. You grant them courage, O oh Lord. Grant them supernatural courage, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We also pray against Islamic extremism and terrorist attacks. We pray for the persecutors to have a change of hearts, Lord Jesus. Your word says that you bring the counsel of the nations to nothing and fr frustrates the plans of the peoples. And Father Lord, your word also commands us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, to love our enemies and pray for persecutors. Father Lord, we pray for love within that nation. We pray that the Christians that even show the persecutors love Love, that the persecutors will recognize the love of Christ in them, that there is something that will be different, oh Lord, when they come across these Christians in that nation in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. We come against every extremism. We pray for a change of heart, oh Lord. Father, Lord, there's nothing you cannot do. We even just heard in the previous um, ministration that there's nothing prayer cannot do, Lord. We pray for a turnaround, oh Lord. We pray for a change of heart, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, we pray for love within amongst those communities, within the Christians and the non-Christians, O oh Lord. May the Christians continue to just live like Christ. May Christ be their standard, their ultimate standard, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the persecutors come to know you, O oh Lord, through the love, O oh Lord, of Christ that is emanated from these brothers and sisters of theirs in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, we pray. We pray for the president, the new president of Ethiopia, President Saleh Wok Zode, and the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, and the decision makers in all of Ethiopia. That nation is going through a, a, a turnaround in this season. There are a lot of changes. There's a lot of, of, of um, um, focus on the leadership, on the government. We pray for those leaders. As, it, as they are making le legislations and policies, we pray that the Lord directs their paths that's, and that the Lord saves them and gives them the wisdom to lead and, and influence and make those changes and drive the, the, the most high's agenda in that nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Even your word in first timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 3 says therefore i exalt first of all that supplications prayers intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all men and for kings 
for leaders, for kings who are in authority, that we may lead quiet and peaceable life in all good, goodliness and reverence. We pray for these leaders. We pray for all the people in government, every decision maker, everybody in the parastatal, in all the organizations, in the international organizations that are headquartered there. My Lord and my God, we use them as a point of contact, oh Lord, for influence, for your for your, your divine purpose, oh Lord, to be to be driven in the land in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for revival in the land in the mighty name of Jesus. They will come to know you, Father Lord. They will come to know you, my Lord and my God. Your word will be spread across the nation and even to other nations in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for this nation. We thank you for your work. We thank you, Lord, for the positioning of this nation. We thank you that you are doing a new thing in Ethiopia. We thank you for our brothers and sisters there. We thank you for all the Christians there who continue to serve you. May they not lose hope and lose heart in serving you. May they not be lukewarm, O oh Lord, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise and adoration in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, my sister. God bless you. Uh, we thank God for today. And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for being part of today's prayer session. Um, the time you invest in praying in the name of Jesus will be rewarded in Jesus' name. So please join us.